So Wednesday, I uploaded a video criticizing a white supremacist. And if you look on the video, it's exploded. It's got over 2.4K views. The problem is though, I mean, absolutely ratio. There's like 500 dislikes and like, I don't know, 80 up likes. Turns out I've been overrun by racist trolls. So I thought I'll make a video responding to your comments. How can you define the population projections by the Office of National Statistics as a far right conspiracy theory? So I've had a lot of people say this, that, um, you're saying this is conspiracy theory, but even people like Navarra Mead and Ash Sarkar have, have admitted it. And um, we, we've had like articles from The Guardian saying there's gonna be demographic changes. If you watched my video, I didn't say anything about demographic changes. My, when I said it was conspiracy theory, I was talking about the great replacement conspiracy theory is a specific conspiracy theory, which is about the, which is the idea that um, there's gonna be white genocide and we're moving towards a world where there's going to be black and brown people overtaking and replacing the white people and the white people are going to, going to be the new suppressed peoples. It's such an old, old, old conspiracy that the racists and neo-Nazis have used what Hitler would have used. I'm not commenting on demographic changes. So, and even if, even if the demographic changes are true, Yes, white people won't be the majority, but they're still going to be the biggest plurality. So I wasn't commenting on demo, uh, demographic change of statistics. But even if that's the case, who the fuck cares? It doesn't matter what skin colour you are. I don't care if... if it, so what if this country's majority black and brown? Who cares? It doesn't matter. Your colour skin has no relevance to who you are as a person. Um, so this one is from Big Blocker. I grew up and live in Bradford. My street used to be predominantly white in the 90s, and now I'm one of two white households on my street. If population replacement isn't happening, how come I feel so isolated and like a minority on my own street in my own city? It's like a little fucking bitch, to be honest. <laughs> you don't like that one. But everyone's saying that like, I'm, I'm a minority in my own country, so you should be sympathizing with me, so I don't know why you're kicking off me. We, we can be friends, we can be friends. This one is from Alt Voices Portal. Can you stop trying to demonize white people with your anti-white slurs, please? Because your demonization leads to good people getting harmed by malele... <laughs> I can't fucking do it. Yeah, I need to figure out how it takes me to get I got this, got this. Can you stop trying to demonize white people with your anti-white slurs, please? Because your demonization leads to good people getting harmed by malevolent anti-whites. Or perhaps that's your intention. It's sick and also incredibly boring. I'm like, it's sick, but also very boring. <laughs> Great response. <laughs> um, bra -ha, ha ha hat says, you actually don't have an argument beyond nasally saying that's racist. Ah, uh, that's, that's racist. Turn a D century, you have to go back. Where? At uh, Furiat, this is not your country, fuck off. Okay, Napoli Stacanti. I think I actually nailed that one. Um, undercover neo-Nazi. That's some argument skills right there, my fellow British. Aww, he some is fellow British. Oh, thank you so much. That means a lot. Master of the Death Wing. Have you got an actual argument other than mean truths make me feel bad? I mean, to be honest, it's kind of a good argument because like, let's be honest, I don't want to live in a racist society. And yes, I mean, people saying I'm not British and people are racist, but it kind of does make me feel a little bit bad. And I think we should have a society that, I don't know, people are happy. So, I mean, yeah, that's actually quite a good argument, I think, yeah. You are not British. British means white. I mean, who's gonna tell him? <laughs> Mr. T, keep telling yourself we are trolls and not living all around you, waiting, preparing. I mean, that that is just creepy, like, where are you preparing? Your mum's fucking basement. Like, yeah, that's weird. Uh, we've got one from Reprehensible Me Sugar. <laughs> me Sugar. <laughs> we don't want you either. Don't want you either. I don't want you. From Nat Sock Saxon. Turn left. Stop listening to corporate media and listen to us instead. Also turn left. Exact same opinions as corporate media. That's funny because I'm a socialist. He wants to abolish capitalism. So, I mean, in my world, there wouldn't be any corporations. But yeah, I have the exact same views as corporate media. You found me out. Uh, one from uh, McGregor. Why are you so anti-white, mate? What happened to you? I don't know. I just, I just woke up one day and just thought, fuck, I hate white people. White privilege is a conspiracy theory. 
I'll have to make a separate video for that one. That's gonna be too long. 2066, vote PA. I mean, I know election campaigns are like quite long, but you are just taking the fucking piss. Friendly Spurg. Oh, he's friendly. Let's hope, let's hope it's gonna be a nice one. Britain has always been multicultural. Agreed. We've, al we've, we've always experienced the rich cultural diversity of the English, Welsh, Cornish and Scottish. That's all the diversity we need. Well, enjoy your fucking beans on toast every day then. John Parr says, don't turn left, you will end up like the absolute beta male. Please just put your mum's knickers back in the fucking drawer, mate. English, Irish, Scottish, Cornish and Wel Welsh ethnicities. British people are people who are one of these five ethnicities. If you're not one of these, um, you are not British, only by law. So what Chris Shaw has kindly explained to us is that yes, you are in fact British by law. Racism is the existence of thought that defies political correctness. Racism is not an action. It's not something you can do. It's a word that describes your thoughts. A racist action is racist because it causes by lack of faith in political correctness, not because it causes injustice of any kind. Racist is a religious term that is equivalent to infidel in Islam. It has nothing to do with actual reality and has no meaning of non-followers of political correctness. What's wrong with wanting my homeland to be majority white? What's the problem here? Do you hate whitey? Yes. Yes, I hate whitey. Mantis to Boggan MD. You literally have free Palestine in your Twitter bio. You recognise there is such thing as the Palestinian people and you recognise their right to an ethnic homeland of their own. Okay, fair enough. I presume that you agree that Palestinians should be a majority in their own ethnic homeland, should they ever get one. So why are you so bitterly opposed to extending that courtesy to the English or to white people in general? What you're not getting is there can be white, black, Asian Palestinians, okay? A self-determination for the Palestinian people, that's completely separate from saying that whites only in England. So if I would say, yes, Palestinians should have self-determination, that's like me saying, yeah, British people should have self-determination, but it doesn't matter what their skin colour is. But you're conflating a nationality um, with the colour of your skin. So you're making... There's no in contradiction here. You're... I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, basically. Toad Toadison. Debate groipers or go shag a pakora. I mean, how about I eat a pakora and I shag a groiper? Seriously, though, I would never imagine that harmless Karen would be a Nazi. Well... I mean, if I ever hear someone say I want to speak to a manager, I'm going to fucking run the other way now. So I've had a lot of people say that I'm a racist and that I've just put the term like neo-Nazis out there. It's just a label. I've, I've been smearing people. I, I literally don't know what constitutes a racist then because I'm, I'm saying, okay, what we're all saying is there's no such thing as being ethically British. That's not a thing. Being British is, is multicultural. It's multi-ethnic. It doesn't matter what colour you are. I'm English. I was born in this country. I have um, emotional connections to this country. I've lived here my whole life. Both my parents were born here. I've got friends, most of them were born here. I like to do British things. I like sport. I like football. I like boxing. I like to drink. I moan about the weather. What makes me not British? In your eyes, or, or in, in these guys' eyes in the comments, these neo-Nazis, these patriotic alternative, is simply the colour of your skin. That is racist. <laughs> and if you're saying, no, I'm not racist, what is the definition of a racist then? Okay, you can have a debate on nation states. You can have a debate on culture. What you can't do though, is pull shit out your ass and make up this, this idea that being British, that's an ethnicity in itself. No, it isn't. White Anglo-Saxon, yeah, being whites, that's um, ethnicity, okay? But that doesn't constitute whether you're British or not. So, in the face of racism, I say I care. I care about everybody. I want a world where we all are treated equally. That's not so controversial, is it?